Okay, what up guys? This is Safari Savage and I just wanted to try something a little bit different. Okay. So this is gonna be my well thoughts about Soma so far. So far, from what I've been playing, she is by far one of the best characters in Overwatch. And right now I'm still trying to get a little rust off of me when I'm playing her because I'm so used to Tracer and stuff. Like that's where I get some of her like abilities from. Like when I play with her, I try to implement Tracer into Sombra because I love that fast-paced, just come at you gameplay. And she has pretty much everything I need. Everything can be okay, number one. Her gun is extremely good. I don't know why in the world they said it wasn't that good for damage. Like, it has 60 in a clip and like it just pumps out non-stop damage. Her hack, it is extremely good if you can use it like effectively. Me, I need to work on actually getting enemies and health packs like 50-50. Mainly I just focus on health packs, that's one thing I need to like, you know, fix. But like her camo is really good because it just allows you to get behind enemy lines and do whatever the hell you want and that's the thing I really do love about her. Um, hmm. What else? Design wise, I think she does have one of the best designs in the game. This is not being a fanboy or anything, I really do think she has like the best design in the game. She is really cool. Like I love the whole kind of half, like... It's hard to actually describe, it's like half cyborg kind of thing going. And then there's the whole like rebel type side. Especially in the Los Muertos. In the Los Muertos you can actually see where they brought that to life. Okay, um... What else could that be? Well, for starters, one thing that I really do think that like I would fix if I was working on her would be she can hack through damage like that is one thing that I really do wish she could do because it really does sometimes get annoying when you have to keep on constantly like doing it in order to actually get a hack off but like one thing that really irks me is if you get poisoned by Widow it will actually stop you from poking and it will stop you from hacking because that's like consistent damage that you're taking another thing her teleporter I think that it needs to be like fixed a little bit because you can be hit while you're teleporting it's like I don't know why they made that a thing but uh yeah skins like by far my favorite skin would have to be the virus and the Los Muertos virus because I love vibrant colors and I love to like actually express myself through the way the character looks and the way Sombra is, like, I just feel just free. Like, no restrictions whatsoever. Same thing with Tracer. Like, when I'm playing with Tracer, I give no fucks. Like, I will run up on a tank and mow them down. I do not care. And that's how I feel with Sombra, because, like, her gun is extremely good against tanks. And, like, if you can just get your EMP off on, like, a Zarya or a Reinhardt or something, and I've seen this before, and you have a D.Va ult, it is the most OP thing ever. And hmm, I actually don't have that many problems with it. Like, only problem is once again the teleport issue and the whole hack through damage. But eh, that's one way to balance her out. So that's reasonable. But my thoughts on Sombra so far is. Definitely a 10 out of 10, and once again, she's like the best character in Overwatch right now. She has completely changed the damn game. I mean, when people thought that Ana was gonna be overpowered with her nano boost, like, okay, but Sombra, like, she can just shut that shit down if they, especially on the Genji. If she puts it on the Genji and he's nano boosted, there's nothing he can do except for just run around and swing the sword. Like, it shuts Genji down completely. It makes him irrelevant whatsoever. And that's another thing that I do love about her. She can just shut down any hero that she wants as long as she gets the hack off. Or if she can just com like completely just keep pumping out damage. Now Lucio on the other hand, that 
Oh my god. That's so much fun just shutting down a Lucio from doing whatever he wants. Like, if you get him while he's on healing, like, sure he can keep healing himself, but by the time you keep pumping out those rounds, like, he's gonna be dead. Because he can't speed boost away. And that's just a really useful thing. Her hack is extremely good if you optimize it. And. What else? I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all I want to talk about about her. I mean, I haven't had that much playtime, and I probably am, like I'm not gonna be able to get any more playtime with her until probably next month because it's a stupid situation. But yeah, I just love her. She is the perfect character for me. I did record some other gameplay for her earlier and I am gonna post those probably either later on this week or maybe even tomorrow it just depends on what I'm doing and when I'm doing it cuz I have to work on adding the music I need to actually figure out like what I will want to do as far as improving on some stuff with my videos so I might be off the grid for a little bit but um, I'm most definitely gonna upload some more gameplay for you guys and with that, I'm Safari Savage. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm so mejor. I might need this later. ¿Qué tal? See you later. My ultimate is ready. Been here all along. Compromised. Let's clear it out. Much better. I do. Translocated. Ah. EMP activated. Be right back. Hey there. My objective is, is compromised. Let's clear it out. EMP charged. Be right back. Enemy on my radar. They're taking the objective. Ah. Ah. EMP activated. Mm. The objective is compromised. Let's clear it out. Ah. I might need to be in here all along. 